Hi everyone, this is Patty Freeman, and I'm a sports mental trainer. And I'm here to do a little short video, just a little one, about what teamwork means for an athlete. Now, as you know, being a sports mental trainer, I must work with a whole lot of different athletes, and I do. They start from little on, from seven, all the way to professionals, from high school, colleges, all different sports, from lacrosse, from hockey, basketball, baseball, gymnasts, Olympians, cheerleaders, you name it, I have worked with them. But I've worked with them from any level to from individuals to teams. And there is a difference. When I work on an individual basis, that athlete goes in with a 100% attitude, with swagger, wanting more confidence, getting the focus and concentration they need to win the game, no matter what it costs. And when I work with the team, just imagine that one person times that many people on that team gets stronger and better and feeling even stronger because now they're all working on the same page. Now, just to give you an example, if you practice and you give 50% at practice and then you wanna go out at game time and give 100%, do you think that would be easy? Just imagine it. Perfect example. Imagine a hockey team guy is right on the ice. He's going ahead and he's got the puck and he's going to want to pass it to one of his other teammates to get the goal. It's perfectly lined up. And he looks over and nobody's there. The teammate's not there. He's not giving any effort. What happens if you're at a baseball game and you see the pitcher just warming up and he goes ahead and throws that ball and it gets hit and nobody's in the outfield to catch it? Where's his team? Wonder if you're playing basketball and it's right there, three-pointer, you're ready to shoot and you're ready for someone to be right there just in case. They're not there. Their mind is not there. They're at 50%. They have hesitation and doubt when they don't give 100%. Now, let's say they give 100% at practice when that hockey player is going to go ahead and pass that puck. It's going in that goal. When that baseball player is going and pitching and he goes and throws it and they hit the ball, that outfielder's way there ahead of them, in there, done that, caught it, out. The same thing with basketball. There's his other guy right there, ready just in case, just in case. It's given 100% all the time. It doesn't matter if the team isn't the best team. Give 100%. It's even better than that. It doesn't matter what they did last year. This year could be totally different. And this could be your night or your day that you're not doing so well. And they're going to have an advantage over you. You have to go out there and intimidate them as a team. Now, when I work with an athlete, one athlete of the whole team, they go out there with that presence of giving 100% all the time. And then when they go out there and their team is given 50, they have to carry the rest on their shoulders and it gets tiring after a while. So as the team comes together and they give 100%, it's a win-win situation. So teamwork is very important. Teamwork means you come together, you get it done, you focus on positive, you let go of the negative, you give great self-talk to yourself. What self-talk means is you tell yourself, I can, I am. And what I mean by that is, my tool for tonight to tell you is, if you tell yourself you can't, guess what? You can't. If you tell yourself you can, opportunity is there for you. And what I mean is your mind doesn't know the difference. Just think about this between reality and make-believe. So the more you tell yourself, I can't do that. I'm not good enough. Oh my God, they're better than us. Guess what's going to happen? Your opportunity, your confidence, your focus goes down with every word that you say. But if you tell yourself, I can do this, I'm better than that. Oh my God, we're going to win this. We're intimidating them. It goes higher. And as a team, it involves so much better. So just remember, when you compete against any team, you're really competing to get yourself better. But you're doing it as a team. And as an individual, whether you're a pitcher, catcher, it doesn't matter if you're on a football team. It is a team effort, but you got to give 100% to make it better for you as a team. Remember, there is no I in team, me, it's a we. And just imagine that from this moment on and every moment that you do this, 
you never felt more healthier and better than ever before because it starts right now. It starts with you. So what I want you to do is do it for you and realize how happy you're going to be because now you don't have to overwork. You don't have to think if your team is doing better. You don't have to say, I wish this person would get 100% in. I wish they were in it like I was. I wish, I wish, I wish. No, just do it. Be that inspiration for your team. Be the confidence level that you believe in and let them see that if it works for you, it'll work for them too. And bring them all together. Be the leader that you are. So that's my little speech for today. And I hope you understand what I mean by team. If you're an athlete wanting to be your peak performance level, stay positive. Go out there and intimidate. Go out there and compete, but compete in a positive way. Go out there and win that game, but go out there and see that as a team you come together on that field, and that's all that matters. But that's what matters to you. Again, thank you for listening. I'm Patty Freeman. I'm a sports mental trainer, and I'm located in Scottsdale and California. And stay tuned for more little videos along the way. Bye-bye.